Hello people, this is Rashawn McCarty, also known as Feeding Frenzy 91 and today I'm bringing you some Star Wars Old Republic beta gameplay. So, yep, Star Wars has finally lifted off the veil and allowed us to make videos, so here you go. Alright, I first of all, I've been a member of Star Wars Old Republic beta test for two years, but I just got invited to the very large weekend beta test, which they invited practically everyone to, so I'm happy that I finally get to test out this game. There's been a lot of specs about this game. It's supposed to be like... MMO, but in a new version, a new system setting, so to speak. And so far, I have, I am now. In truth, I'm not an MMO, MMO person, MMORPG person. Like, didn't really like WoW. Tried it for a couple days, stopped. Didn't uh, Guild Wars wasn't too good to me. Um, this I'm really enjoying. I'm level, f I'm a level five Jedi Knight right now, and I've only done the first couple missions, but it's really good. The cutscenes, the voice acting, how everybody has a voice, um, the abilities. It's just all all in all a really cool game, or so far at least. Well, right now I'm just battling. In fact, this whole clip is just me battling some random. They're called Flesh Raiders. For those of you who aren't in the beta, it's called Flesh Raiders. They are the indigenous species to Tython, which is where you start off if you're a Jedi. First mission is to actually kill a bunch of these guys, and then once you kill them, you have to go to a cave where they're supposedly spawned from, and you have to like um, destroy the entrance so that they can't spawn anymore. Of course, I I, I, already, I haven't actually done my second mission yet. I've only done the first one. Anyway, um, let me just talk about the game. All right, now the gameplay is pretty fluent, and I like the combat system. I also like how you loot. The looting is pretty well done. Um, it's basically just like if you play Kotor, you would know. How to all you do is click the body, and you can either take all or decide what you want to keep. And if you just notice I, the leap, which was also taken from the original Kotor, the, the when you pick the Jedi Garden, you get the leap where you're allowed to leap to them. What I like about this game is with the looting is that if it's blue, that means that it's just random. You know, loot is either credits or something that's not worth too much. But if it's green, that means it's something good. And and really, I've found a lot of good like armors and blades and stuff just by looting random level two enemies. I mean, I don't know whether the system is random or whether it's like certain enemies. After you kill a certain amount of enemies, you get a better web, uh, better um item or something. But I, I was very surprised because in most MMORPGs, you you don't get good items from people who from the beginning attackers of the game and this is pretty cool yeah I'm actually using a new I'm not using my training saber I'm using an Ithorian blade which I picked up from a random flesh raider and well alright what I really like about this game is how it's so focused on the whole co-op aspect like um, me and my friend he's not playing anything right now but um we I, I, everybody saw the whole flashpoint trailers Knowing that during flashpoints you can have group chats and um, you can do like and also and w when one person makes a decision it affects the other person too. The thing is in this game every th every single conversation you have can be group chatted, which I really enjoy. It's not just the flashpoints or the main mission. Every single conversation you have, other than the main storyline, which makes sense because you don't want other people messing up your storyline. And I I, I mean. You you actually if you are the same class then you can even group chat in the main storyline, but if you're not in the same class you can't group chat in the main storyline. But that's good because you don't want people to mess with your main storyline decisions, even though the other decisions which they choose will mess with it too. Because in this game, like all right, if you decide not to help the Padawans, I decided to help them, then you get a completely different set of even though that's just a mini like quest. You get like a different set of options later on than if you decide to help these battle ones, and I really like that. That even the mini quests like have a follow up later on. And anyway, as you see, I'm just right now just trying to attack these guys, just trying to kill them. All right, now there were some questions about this game, as in like based on the trailers, it did appear as though you could play with by yourself in this game and do like completely fine. So far, that seems to be the correct opinion. I'm not sure how hard the other missions are. 
but it seems like this is an MMORPG that you can play by yourself and still do okay. Like, I'm right here. I'm just d dishing out to these flesh dwellers. I'm not even getting hurt. Like, if you notice, I turned blue a lot. That's because I just learned this technique, which allows me to block enemy attacks and actually hit them back with it. Um, well, the thing about this game, though, is um, I really like the combat system. How it's, it's kind of fluent. Like, you see ducking. You see... um your sword being blocked, you see it being hit. It's better than like in WoW and Guild Wars when all you did was hit, 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 like that. And it's a very good combat. I mean, obviously it's not the best, but I mean, it's, it's so far it's the best I've seen in any MMORPG. Um, also, I like um, how the blades, everything is pretty good. It's not laggy. Um, the graphics are, for an MMORPG, these graphics are pretty good. I mean, other than Rift, I heard that Rift graphics are supposed to be, like, really, really good, especially for an MMORPG, but most MMORPGs, like, WoW, Guild Wars, Final Fantasy, their graphics weren't, like, like, they're definitely not on par with the graphics of regular RPGs nowadays, like, definitely not on par with Dragon Age and stuff like that, but these graphics are pretty decent. I'm right now using it on the full setting. My computer can use it. I have, I have a video game computer. And this beta test weekend is over. It just is only three days. But I hope to bring some more gameplay to you guys. Uh, this is right now just me messing around because, see, the thing is, I was, um, me and my friend, we started this mission together. And then he had to leave. And I kind of didn't want to finish it without him. So I decided just to mess around a bit, just, you know, gain some levels. And I actually did because we, we were level two. We did the first two missions together. And then he had to leave. And the third one... I'm in the middle of the third one right now, and um, we were level two at the end of the first two, and now I'm level five. Um, that's one thing. Other thing, leveling up in this game, it is not. Well, I, I I played WoW, didn't like it too much, but I played it, and if I remember from WoW correctly, um, it was even leveling up from level one to level two seemed like a little bit of a challenge. Like you couldn't just face rabbits and do it quickly. <laughs> Or boars, you can just kill the boars and do it quickly. These guys, this is pretty good. I mean, you could. I, I'm I'm level five and I I I basically gained three levels just by messing around, just killing these ra ra random guys. And like that's all I've been doing this for most of the most of this day. Well, this commentary is almost over, but um, let me just briefly wrap up with what I think about this game, basically. All right, the gameplay, great. For an XSC for an MMORPG, it's pretty fluent for an MMORPG. Um, the graphics, yeah, they're okay, they're good. Um, what, but what really, what really sets this game differently from everything else is the group, the the focus on co-op. It just, it it was just something I've never seen. Um, the game is really co-op balanced with the group chats, group everything. You every single thing you get. You have to like share with the group. It's just great. Anyway, hopefully I'll have some more game for you guys later. See ya.